Hey, what's up? And welcome back, everyone, to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy, dedicated to coaching every single day. Today, we are back in with our spectating solo series or the solos coaching series, where I go through through a solos match and talk through all of my rotations, why I'm going certain ways, how I'm going to play a little bit aggressive in one way to get more kills, but how that might affect my safety on a rotation. Today, we are using the new signal build. If you guys have seen this on my main channel, it is my new favorite sniper. I love the SPX. But I always hated the signal because of how slow and lethargic it was. Well, I found a build that is just absurd. And I'm going to share it with you at the end. But it's snappy and it's semi-automatic. And I slay through this solo lobby. If you guys enjoy the style of gameplay and you want to see it live, make sure to join me live over on Twitch. If you want me to review your gameplay, make sure to join the, 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 make sure to join the Discord. But without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the rest of today's video. And I will see you live over on Twitch. Peace. Hey guys, quick uh, quick editing note after the fact, okay? I typically don't do this for these second channel videos, but I want you to notice how many times I make a certain play within this game, okay? I, it happens like four or five times and every single time they are completely helpless, which is what the whole title and thumbnail of this video is about. And I, I see people making this mistake all the time as I review people's gameplay. And obviously I see the mistake in game because I'm crushing people for it, is they're trying to do the pinwheel rotation, right? So they find themselves on the edge of the zone. They're trying to find them their way over to the next zone, right? And they keep thinking that the pinwheel rotation means that they need to be right on the edge of the zone as the zone is closing in, closing right, right next to it. And that could not be more wrong. I'm actually going to go back and this kind of inspired me to rewatch my original pinwheel rotation video. But what I constantly talk about is we want to be 15 to 20 seconds ahead of where this zone is so that way we can catch the people that are hugging with their their back just just to the gas and you're going to see in today's video this is the power position that i want you guys to be holding as you're wrapping through the map is leaving this buffer and you'll see myself angling in towards my opponent and my opponent will be stuck somewhere right here with their back to the gas pushing them in and they are just completely trapped. Watch how many times I intentionally rotate just a little bit more aggressively to hold someone and they are absolutely helpless. There's a lot of other great coaching inside of this video, but I really wanted to emphasize this point and see how many times I put myself in a position and it just makes the gunfight so dang easy. Enjoy the rest of today's video. All right, boys, so we're gonna do a little spectating solos or spectating coaching. Uh, if I end up dying, I'm just gonna spectate towards the end, kind of critique what? You know, either I did wrong to get myself killed or what I did right throughout that map. Um, I'm going to land somewhere that I typically like to land just because it's got good loot. We're going to play through this whole game. Ideally, we play it till I win. But if I die, we'll just spectate and uh, and learn from the players that killed me. Got one guy dropping in over there. This is my first game of the day, so I'm going to be a little rusty. But that also means I shouldn't be relying on so heavily based on uh, mechanical skills where I should be relying on like uh, game sense and other rotation. Enemy soldier incoming. Crack that guy purple. That means he's coming out of the gulag, but he got a gulag plate and he'll be. But I just got spotted, which means there's probably more around here. I'm gonna go in here and stow this just in case. I already got my three plate. I'm trying to find. How's that? Back <clears throat> that guy up a couple times. That gun is awful, but I can slow him down. Hopefully, give me time. Get over here to grab my signal. That will be in business. There we go. Yeah, so this new signal build, you guys have probably seen it in my uh, in one of my previous videos. It's actually doing surprisingly well. Usually, sniper videos do pretty terrible on YouTube. Um, but I think people have been missing snipers so much that we're all kind of like just hoping we can find one. And I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled with the signal build. Have this. Awful UAV, which means there's someone close. 
keeping this up as soon as I see the ping. All right, we're good. Looks like only a couple bots. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, actually, the we, we just saw the guy pop up on my UAV. He's at the buy station right now. I'm uh, going to go down here. We already have my signal. This guy's pushing in. I'm going to grab my sniper support. Oh, oh. the bot killed him. So I, normally I try to pick up my signal as fast as I could, but I knew this guy was going to be pushing. So I pre-aimed with my laser right here. I have a laser on this gun. If I put the laser right here, he might be able to see through the door that there's a laser. Usually through hard terrain, they can't see it, but... Uh, we'll equip this, drop this. Boom. And just in case we find ourselves in water. I don't know, sometimes I go back and forth. Sometimes I like to hold a pistol. In case we end up in water, like if I end up fighting underwater, but other times I really like to hold on to an AR. But today we're focusing heavy on the sniper, so we're going to stick with that. But overall, not off to a bad start. Oh my goodness. All right. Wrapping up the top side of the hill. Fortunately, I have bird's eye, so I should be getting a lot of free info. Like that. That beauty of that spam ability. One way up on the hill up there. Yep, got right here. He's going down the hill. So this guy's probably up way up on the ring. This guy that I shot on the right is probably going to wrap his way up to me. Get a self. I'm surprised we didn't have a self yet. And yeah, so this guy's probably just holding a head glitch right here. Yep. There he is. Most likely won't repeat because he's absolutely 1 HP. Go down. Try to get the guy in the distance while I could still see him, but didn't want to get too greedy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the mortar just because I don't find the mortar to be as useful. And we're going to go up here and keep clearing off the high ground. Uh, looks like we have at least two up. And we should be able to catch them as they rotate out. So we're not going to be going for like crazy high kills here. We're not going to, you know, do anything that's going to get ourselves killed. Um, the goal here, end goal, right? The most relatable end goal is, is using... A sniper to get power positions, hold those power positions, and uh and, and get a win. I think this guy's rotating off to our right. Hold the AR just in case he chows close, then we get to a safe head glitch. Pop the UAV. And then we rotate. So I did see someone make a change to this build. I saw it on Twitter and it actually looked nuts. The, instead of the grip that I have, which is the finesse grip that helps out with aim down sight and sprint to fire, he uses one that helps out with flinch. And it, it was whatever the flinch grip is for snipers. And it looked gross. His gun was not moving even when he was getting like full auto beam. That might actually be the play. Even though you sacrifice like 20 milliseconds of ADS, I would give up some ADS just so that way I could win some more of those, you know, Ego Chow gunfights. But we got two guys behind, rotated ahead of them, even though we could have landed short of them. Pretty sure it's this building. Yep. Oh, Isaac. And then up here somewhere. And we just got a UAV ping of someone on our left. We got to be careful about that. That guy right there. Got 
Got to be careful because this guy could wrap up and, yep, exactly, take my high ground. Looks like he probably dropped down inside of that building. Oh, you hit me hot. They're still dealing with the same two. This guy on the on the right is going to be stuck in the gas. Still making sure I'm not giving up too much of my left, though. I am going to plate because I'm vulnerable to a one-shot headshot right now. Nice shots. Fortunately, I got a durable gas mask and all the time in the world. Hit the smoke. Looks like this guy's rotating deep behind me. Go for this skill. Wait for the gas mask to come off. Cross with the faster weapon. And we're back in it. Oh, airspace too crowded. Bummer. I'm surprised it took three shots, though, because it looked like one headshot and then a wall bang. And that should have been enough to, to, to down him. It's actually a really bad spot for me to be because if I get down here, he's going to have an angle to still, you know, headshot me. So I don't want to be standing there. I really don't want to be in a spot where if he downs me, he's close enough that he can push me, right? What? Looks like he's running away. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how this guy isn't dying. <laughs> All good. Zone's going to push him first. Probably going to wrap down the hill. Stay back. Nice. Good fight out of that guy. All right. Now we know we have a few more out in front of us. We've been saving this UAV. We're getting low on plates, though, so we got to be careful about that. I'm going to pop UAV because I... Th I think there is either someone up here or in one of these buildings, and we got a long rotation to go. Okay, not too bad. I thought we were going to be held a little bit more aggressive. But honestly, I'm down. It, the smarter play would be to wrap left, because that's where the zone's going to be moving slower and get set up in a building over there or something. But there's a lot more kills out in front of me, and that's what I want right now. Remove this so I can see easier. This guy's pushing up. I'm going to pull up my AR. Basically, that entire time, what I was, I was what I was doing. Oh, hang on, another one. Was I was matching my minimap arrow to where the arrow was on um, my screen, right? So I'm like looking up on my top left to match where I'm aiming, so that way I know I'm pre-aiming in the right spot, just in case you know he challenges over the hill aggressively. We had one guy ghosted on our right, so we got to be worried about him. Gunfire happening over here. Looks like there's one guy going into the, um... That's actually really bad. That guy's going into the, like, sniper tower. That could be a problem for us. There should be a guy inside of here. that got him yes so i delayed that throw hoping that he would hit the self revive and i would get the kill and it worked out perfect 
All right, we got a jailbreak. Um, we're out of drill charges. Really, I'm, I'm just going to go and drop this cluster mine, even though I could probably use it later. Just because I want more plates, because I'm going to be doing a really aggressive cross here. All right, there's a lot of open space. Um, all right, UAV's up. Two guys over there. I think maybe I'll play for this building right here. There's a loadout right there, so a lot of people might try to land there. But I'm not going to stay and hunt for kills too heavy. Uh, the signal build? The signal build is on my YouTube. I can show you it after this game, though. The, the new scope that I put on it just makes the aim down sight incredibly fast. I'm going to throw this just in case. I don't even know if that helps with ghosted players, to be honest. I haven't tested it. Uh, we'll get a full durable. And that's really all we can get, because they have no UAVs left. Yeah, unlucky. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy dropping in. That's that guy over there. Probably not the best spot for me to be, because I could get shot in my back pretty easily. This is definitely risky, but if I get up here, it's going to be a really nice power position for a while. I don't think there's many places that could have an angle on me when I prone. I don't think that was the same guy that dove in, though. Don't want to get caught up by that. I'm still looking for one other guy. He may have wrapped deep left, though, when I sniped at him. Gulag's closed, so I don't have that. I don't even know if I have a self... Yeah, I don't have a self-revive anymore. Let me check the buy real quick. I think it's still RNG. Like, a self isn't guaranteed. Yeah, it's not. Love that. What we might do, since we have a full durable, see if we can find this body over here and see if it has a... Uh... Well, it wouldn't have a self revive because you got one-shot headshot. That's a dumb thought there, Isaac. Here... All right. Wow, that's a lot of open space there. We might be doing some uh, vehicle rotations here in the end game, but this vehicle's already shot, so this could be tough. Um, I think what we do is there's a lot of people that are going to be fighting over here. I don't, I don't really know what the play is. Let's just try to smoke this guy real quick. Because I don't like heli players. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my goodness, that guy just threw it. <gasps> Wait, that kills me? I thought it was far enough away. Oh no, I think I just threw. Throw of a lifetime. Alright. Come on, I just... Full gas mask inside of here. Self-revive. Thank goodness we find a self-revive off that... A guy on the ground. We got sloppy there. I wanted kills. I was getting impatient. And a riot shielder almost ran through the gas and smoked me. Holy. So that piece of cover is really going to be our saving grace right now. 
We got a guy way deep there. Oh my gosh. That was him. That's the guy we were looking for. No. So I'm going to stand up just because my body shows more of a footprint when I'm laying down. I'm going to try to airstrike him off that hill. There's only one other player left. This guy deep left. Good. We still have two smokes left and two airstrikes. We can win this. Still seem up on the hill. For the airstrike. Throw the smoke. Start plating up. We we're trying to wrap the high ground on him, basically. He doesn't expect it. And that's GG's. Nice! Yeah, so I mean, really, smokes saved my ass there. I had a couple self revives. Airstrikes helped as well, but I mean, just being able to spam a sniper too is just a little filthy. So, hey, GG's. GG's. First game of the day. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is the build that I am now going to try. Beforehand, I was rocking the finesse grip. Now, I'm going to try rocking the stalwart for two reasons. One, the stalwart or the finesse grip hurts your recoil control. So that's one negative, right? And you actually need recoil control for follow-up shots. But then also you have the stalwart grip, which helps out with flinch resistance. So when you're getting shot, it doesn't take your eyes to the ceiling. The Forge Tac Delta, the OLEV laser, and the high velocity. This is the tuning from the first video right here. There's also a five round variant as well. If you guys want to check out the five round variant, what that does is it trades out the seven round magazine for the suppressor. And I would probably rock this one for solos just because it gives you a little bit more bullet velocity. And in solos, you probably don't need the seven round magazine. But here's the five round build if you want that.